Any new presidency, of course, represents fresh material for the nation's comedians, the pros and barroom variety. The nation's supply of Dan Quayle jokes is about to be depleted, and now the targets are the Clintons and the Gores. Here in Washington, one group had a head start. It's called Gross National Product. Sherry Sylvester tells us who's treating the Republican convention like a big joke. Top ten ways to get yourself kicked out of the Republican convention. It is their job to put a comic spin on the proceedings. Number two, announce over PA system, Speaker Gingrich. Please meet your gay lover at entrance three. Letterman and Leno are turning headlines into punchlines. And so as contenders dole in camp, wave to the crowds in Old Town, impersonators dole in camp, entertain the press. We're gross natural product, and we've been playing in Washington for 16 years. So we're, you know, kind of like vultures, and we follow the politicians around and descend on them in their locations and make fun of them. Voting for Bob, come on! I get family values and target practice at the end. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We've been gross natural. This week they're playing at the theater in Old Town, updating the show nightly. You know, I might be old-fashioned, but I remember when harass was two words. <laughs> Bob don't believe in a lot of things. <laughs> Bob don't believe in welfare reform. We gotta cut off welfare for unwed mothers under the age of 18 and cut off something else for unwed fathers under the age of 18. We don't really have a budget for uh, fiscal 1996 yet. Where's the budget? Well, that's a very good question. And I'm glad you asked me that question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Even though your womanizing never quite stopped And JFK, LBJ, is that where you are? Spewing Republican ideology for extra PR Whitewater Branch Davidians, Paula Jones's allegations Firing jobs from elders over masturbation Don't get me wrong Hang on, stay with me. I need your feedback on this. Stay with me on this. This country is armed to the teeth. <laughs> They're in our homes, they're in our schools. Kids can't get into their schools because they got to get searched like through an airline thing, you know? And what do we do about guns once we have them? And if we don't have them, how do we protect ourselves? If we protect ourselves, how do we keep from crossing that line into the thing where somebody else could get it that we don't know? And if they do, then who pays the medical bills, federal, state, or local? <laughs> Our topic tonight is guns, and on our stage we have gun owners, enthusiasts, and supporters. Uh, sir, could you please uh, introduce yourself to us? Yeah, my name is Duke Molnar. I'm a hunter and a lifelong NRA member. Uh, Duke, uh, there are not too few people in this country who would say that uh, your organization is a fascist Congress bribing military organization. How long have you been a member? Well, actually, my parents enrolled me prenatally. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you are, ma'am? Bill, I'm Prudence Scott Hilliard, and I'm editor of Ladies Home Arsenal magazine. <laughs> you know, guns just aren't for men anymore. Uh -huh. You've come a long way, baby. Huh? We sure Am I right? have. We yeah. gals know that guns are more than protection. They're also a fabulous fashion accessory that says something about her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And ma'am, on the end, you are please. Hi, Phil. I'm Jenny Bickle, and I carry a firearm as part of my job. Uh, you're a police officer, security guard, something like that? No, I work for Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Yes, talk to me. We'll talk the night away. If you can't snooze, I've got interviews every night and every day. Come on, talk to me, or I'll never... 
Go away. Thank you. Thank you very much. George Stephanopoulos, I control the horizontal. I control the vertical. <laughs> We're now getting questions from around the world for President Bill Clinton. The first question, sir, is from New York. Mr. President, how can the governor of such a small state be the president of such a huge country? Just remember, it's not the size, it's the technique. <laughs> Mr. President, how's Jennifer? Come on, Mr. President, the American people deserve an answer. Why don't you give us an answer? Come on, Mr. President, we deserve, we elected you, we're the boss, as Ross says. Tell us about Jennifer. Come on, sir, answer the question. Ah! That's a cheap shot. <laughs> Jennifer wasn't cheap. Next question. I think we should have syntaxes on condoms, leather underwear, the Victoria's Secret catalog, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, the money we get in from the House and Senate alone ought to pay for health care until well the next century. What do you think? You're just jealous because I have my own hit show and I'm internationally famous. For losing the biggest election in Republican history. That was not my fault. It was too. It was not. Was was not. Ladies, was ladies, not. ladies, please. We'll be examining violence in the media on next week's show. Gross National Product, the Capitol's resident satirical gang, brings comic relief to a world full of deep issues and shallow answers. With up-to-the-minute sketches, top-notch political impersonations, and audience-inspired improvs, GNP turns this morning's headlines into this evening's punchlines in their hilarious Skewer the News comedy reviews. Since 1980, GNP's bipartisan barbs have left no administration unspooked. Featured on TV and radio and in newspapers and magazines worldwide, as the Washington Post says, gross national products customized stage shows will keep you grinning from year to year. To a prison!